Looking at the vast seas of sand, you might think of the Sahara Desert as a barren place where life is nearly impossible. However, this desert holds much more than meets the eye. Lost Ancient Civilizations in the Sahara Desert When you hear Sahara Desert, endless sand dunes, the scorching sun and lone camel caravans might come to mind, right? However, this image is far from reflecting the true history of the Sahara. Studies by scientists reveal that this scorching desert was a green paradise thousands of years ago and hosted a series of complex civilizations. Hard to believe, isn't it? But yes, this desert now covered in sand was a vast savanna fed by rain and rivers around 10,000 years ago at the end of the Ice Age. Back then, the Sahara was a vibrant ecosystem teeming with animals. Elephants, giraffes, and various species of antelopes roamed freely in these vast grasslands. And of course, there were humans who wanted to hunt these animals and benefit from these fertile lands. These areas hosted large lakes fed by riverbeds and underground water sources. This situation made the Sahara an attractive place for ancient civilizations. Thousands of rock paintings bearing traces of different cultures offer us many clues about what life was like during this green period of the Sahara. This rich life continued for thousands of years. However, about 5,000 years ago, the climate in the region began to change. Rainfall levels fell, and this paradise turned into the rolling seas of sand we know today. This drastic change forced the ancient inhabitants of the Sahara to migrate. However, there were some civilizations that lived here until the desertification process was completed. The most notable of these is undoubtedly the Garamantes civilization. How did this people, who lived in the Fezzan region in present-day southern Libya, manage to survive for centuries despite the harsh conditions of the Sahara Desert? The Garamantes were a Berber people who existed between 1000 BC and 600 AD. According to classical sources, these people initially led a nomadic life in the desert, but over time they became a settled community. The Garamantes, who led a life based on agriculture and livestock, gradually grew and developed over time. But you must be wondering how they could practice agriculture in the desert environment they lived in. Here's where the creativity and engineering skills of the Garamantes people come into play. Because this civilization had constructed an underground water canal system to overcome the harsh conditions of the Sahara Desert. These canals formed a water management system known as fogaras that required great labor. Water was transported from the mountains to the middle of the desert, making agriculture possible. Thanks to this system, the Garamantes managed to survive and created an oasis in the desert. The Garamantes also had a military power strong enough to resist the Roman Empire. Battles with Rome are narrated in many history books. Unfortunately, this civilization was gradually forgotten and disappeared in the sands of the Sahara. But the Garamantes weren't the only community living in the Sahara. In archaeological discoveries made in the desert, numerous mummies dating back thousands of years have been found. Perhaps the most striking of these is the mummy known as the Child Mummy of the Sahara Desert, discovered in 2007. This child mummy, found in Morocco in 1950, was discovered in the mountainous Atlas region just south of the Sahara Desert. It is estimated that the child died around 3600 BC and then underwent a natural mummification process. Another example is a graveyard discovered in the Wadi al Ajal region in southwestern Libya in 2005, dating back to the 4th century AD. This area houses thousands of graves buried in the sands of the Sahara Desert. Hidden Cities Beneath the Sands The ancient cities and civilizations discovered in the depths of the Sahara reveal that the desert once hosted a very different life. These civilizations, with their lives, wealth, and wisdom, succumbed to the merciless conditions of the Sahara over time and now lie silently beneath the sands. However, scientists have begun to discover the remains of these ancient cities with the help of satellite images and archaeological research. These discoveries reveal a series of structures such as labyrinthine networks of paths, canals, and even temples beneath the desert. One of these lost cities is found in the Fezzan region, filled with the remnants of the ancient Garamantes people. We mentioned that the Garamantes had established a large civilization in the middle of the Sahara Desert with a complex water system. But over time, these water sources dried up and this city was lost under the sand. 
There are also mysterious structures like the Raichat structure, an old stone carving known as the Eye of the Sahara in the Mauritania region to the west of the desert. This structure is so large and impressive that it can be seen even from space. Another city lying beneath the Sahara is Petra. Petra, with its red stones and skillfully carved structures, has been admired by indigenous people and travelers throughout history. But the most intriguing aspect of this ancient city is its complex design, which is like a labyrinth. For centuries, the city remained hidden from view, protected from the heat and dust of the Sahara Desert, with its structures carved into the rock surface. Johann Ludwig Burkhardt's discovery in 1812 opened the doors of Petra to the world. The most well-known and impressive structure of Petra is the El Khazni. El Khazni has served as a royal tomb, a temple, and even a treasure room throughout history. Another city located in the Sahara Desert is the city of Meroe in Sudan. Meroe, one of the main centers of the Kush Empire, was first discovered in 1821 by Faraj al-Said, revealing perhaps the largest pyramid cemetery in the world. The Meroe Pyramids, one of the city's remains, exhibit the rich and complex heritage of the Kush Empire. These structures, smaller than the Egyptian pyramids, are mostly tombs built for Kush rulers and clearly indicate that Meroe was a power center throughout history with their size and number. In addition to these pyramids, the remains of Meroe include various temples, palaces, and public buildings. According to historical sources, the city of Meroe hosted numerous cultural and religious activities with its rulers, clergy, and people. These rituals and activities are reflected in many reliefs and inscriptions observable on the walls of the temples in the city. Traces of Life in the Sahara Desert When you dig the desert soils of the Sahara, you can encounter fossils that take you back thousands of years. The Sahara Desert is a very rich area in this respect. Scientists have found animal and plant fossils from different periods here. One of the most striking fossil discoveries is undoubtedly the fish fossils found in the Sahara. Yes, you heard right, fish fossils, and in abundance. The discovery of fish fossils indicates that this vast desert, which now spans 900 hectares, was once underwater. The Sahara's underwater world was home to various types of fish. For example, fossils of Otodus, a species similar to today's sharks that lived 50 million years ago, were discovered in the Sahara. In addition, fossils of a species called Leptolepides spratiformis, which resembles today's eels and dates back to 100 million years ago, have been discovered. One of the most striking of these findings is a fossil belonging to a giant sea snake, which was found in the Maghreb region and measures 50 feet in length. In addition to fish, the history of the Sahara also contains much larger and more interesting creatures. Yes, giant dinosaurs lived here. The Sahara is filled with fossils of many different dinosaur species. These fossils, especially from the Cretaceous period, show that the Sahara had a vibrant ecosystem during those times. For example, fossils of Spinosaurus, one of the world's largest carnivorous dinosaurs that lived 95 million years ago, were found in the Sahara. Spinosaurus was a gigantic creature, estimated to be 50 feet long and weighing 15,432 pounds. This type of dinosaur is known for its large jaws and a huge sail on its back. In the Sahara, fossils of another carnivorous dinosaur species named Carcharodontosaurus have also been discovered. This type of dinosaur was 42 feet long and weighed 13,228 pounds, earning its name from its large and sharp teeth. These fossils show how vibrant and diverse an ecosystem the Sahara Desert hosted in prehistoric times. In addition, the study of these fossils helps us better understand how the world has changed and how life has adapted to these changes. Hidden Life Forms Beneath the Sands The Sahara Desert, heated by the relentless sun and where the heat seems to smother all life, may initially seem to only symbolize the extinction of plants and life. However, beneath the harsh surface of the desert lie natural wonders and stories of resilience. Testudo kleinmani, an animal species as old as dinosaurs and known as desert tortoises, is a symbol of this resistance. Their small size allows them to live in the vast and hot sea of sand. Like many other species, they have developed and possess a series of adaptations to protect themselves against the harsh conditions of the desert. They are typically active at night and bury themselves in the hot sand during the day. This provides them with necessary protection and also helps control their body temperature. 
The fennec fox is another inhabitant of the desert and has likewise adapted to the desert's harsh conditions. Fennec foxes have adapted to the desert's heat and lack of water. Their large ears help lower their body temperature and they typically hunt at night. Since finding water is challenging, they usually sustain themselves with the water from their prey. In terms of vegetation, among the species that survive in the Sahara are desert melons and many types of succulent plants. These plants can store water in their leaves and stems, allowing them to withstand long periods of drought. For example, desert melons can survive even in salty soils and hot climate conditions. However, let's not forget, these are just a small portion of the species living in the Sahara. There are many more stories and species waiting to be discovered in this vast and challenging desert. The Sleeping Lakes of the Sahara Desert Now think the Sahara Desert. Hot winds blowing over the red sands, the scorching rays of the sun, and perhaps most importantly, a climate with almost no rain. But deep within this vast and arid land lies an unexpected truth. These are sleeping lakes. Yes, you heard right. Beneath the Sahara Desert lie ancient lakes heavily covered with sands. But how can this be? How can these lakes exist in the desert where there is almost no rain? These lakes are remnants from when the Sahara Desert was a green and vibrant region millions of years ago. At that time, the area was receiving abundant rainfall, which was nourishing various lakes and rivers. However, over time, climate change and tectonic movements dramatically altered the climate of this region, and the once vibrant lands transformed into the arid and scorching Sahara Desert we know today. But these lakes have remained hidden beneath the sands, and are now referred to as sleeping lakes. Scientists use satellite imagery and geological data to discover the lakes. However, some of them are located very deep below the surface, which makes discovering them challenging. Lines and Symbols Efforts to understand and interpret the past often revolve around traces and symbols left by past civilizations. Sometimes these present themselves as mysterious engravings on stones, and sometimes as immense earthmarks, unique fusions of nature and art. These seemingly meaningless drawings and signs at first glance may be ways of ancient peoples conveying messages to us. For instance, petroglyphs, or rock drawings, found in various parts of the Sahara Desert, unveil the life, beliefs, and cultures of Sahara's ancient inhabitants. These drawings include animal figures, hunting scenes, warriors, and various symbolic depictions. They demonstrate that there was once vibrant life in the desert, and the traces of this life have survived even thousands of years later. Some lines and signs, however, consist of mysterious structures that scientists still don't fully understand. For example, these immense earth marks known as the Lines of the Sahara can be seen from the ground and even from satellite images. Their purpose and how they were made continue to remain a mystery. According to some theories, these lines may be astronomical markers used by ancient peoples to track celestial events. Other theories suggest that these lines could have religious or ritual purposes. Perhaps these symbols are telling the story of their beliefs, thoughts, efforts to understand life and the universe. Mysterious Meteorite Discoveries Many of us envision the Sahara Desert with sand dunes, cacti, and perhaps a few camels, but there is an element present there that most of us wouldn't consider. Yes, we're talking about stones from space or meteorites. The Sahara Desert is actually one of the most significant points where these extraterrestrial elements make their descent to our world. Interestingly, these space rocks bring with them a wealth of information about our planet and other planets. For instance, the Tissint meteorite, thought to have fallen from Mars and discovered in 2011, was the first meteorite that could be definitively identified as coming from a planet other than our own. In addition, a piece of meteorite found in the Sahara Desert in 2020 was determined to have originated from Mars and to be 4.4 billion years old. Another interesting discovery is another piece of meteorite found in the Sahara Desert that has been determined to be 4.6 billion years old. Furthermore, this rock piece is considered to be one of the oldest materials in the history of the solar system. Therefore, it provides valuable information about the formation of our world and the solar system. Mineral Wealth Beneath the Sands The Sahara Desert is home to various mineral resources with significant economic potential globally. These resources range from oil and natural gas to uranium and iron ore, phosphate and gold. 
First, it should be mentioned that the Sahara contains large amounts of oil and natural gas. This fact provides significant economic benefits for many countries in the region. For example, Algeria and Libya are Sahara countries with large reserves of oil and natural gas. Another important mineral resource is phosphate. Phosphate is used in the production of fertilizer in agriculture, and the Sahara has large reserves of this crucial mineral. Morocco, in particular, is rich in phosphate and is one of the world's largest phosphate producers. Iron ore and uranium are other significant mineral resources found in the Sahara. In particular, Niger is one of the world's largest uranium producers. Also, Mauritania, rich in iron ore, is a significant exporter of this mineral. Despite this vast mineral wealth, the harsh conditions of the desert and its remoteness from settlements make full capacity extraction of these resources challenging. However, with advances in technology, these barriers can be overcome, and these valuable resources beneath the Sahara can be utilized more efficiently in the future.